Alright, what is up YouTube? This is Crimson Hexed here. And my buddy Brandon just told me about this, well, new song. But it's The Drug of Me Is You by Fallen In Verse, but they called it The Drug of Me Is Reimagined. So I'm kind of interested to see how they do this. I like the scenery so far, just the whole desolate, like, frozen wasteland, and there's a piano. Does Ronnie Rackay play piano? I don't know. But The Drug of Me Is You is one of the earliest songs I heard from Fallen in Reverse, so this will definitely be cool for me. So, yeah, let's, let's just get started. And I'm going to pause it every once in a while, just so there's no, like, hopefully, no copyright. I'm trying to stop just a little bit. Ooh, yeah, nice. nice. Oh, and they got the cellos as well. Yeah, very nice opening. Uh, nice, subtle and soft. I. I never would have imagined a Fallen in Reverse song with cellos, so this is cool. Um, for anyone that doesn't know, I, I'm a saxophone player, so like orchestra, classical music, all this stuff, it's music I really like. So just seeing the blend between kind of this orchestration and uh, this genre of music is... I'm liking it so far. Even though it's just been 30 seconds. I like all the imagery that they're using. Yeah, I like that in where he's like the feet don't fail me. Yeah, very dramatic. Uh, yeah, I'm still digging it. Ooh. I like how they do this part. Yeah. Very, very cool. Just how they kept that part nice, soft, because it's supposed to be a emotional part. He's questioning, like, does he really feel like he should be here? So yeah. And then I like how they use the the girl from the from the song cover. Or what looks like the girl from the song cover. I could be wrong about that though. It's been a while since I've heard the original. I love his voice.
Yeah. One thing is these dudes playing the cellos, they kind of remind me of Raven from Fortnite, which I, it's been a while since I played Fortnite, but that was what used to be one of my favorite skins, so that's pretty cool. But something I really like is how they're using a lot of the low notes, like when he was singing, da 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 well, not with the singing, but with the piano, just adding a nice little bass to keep a nice little structure to the song. I like when songs have that nice low to kind of add the contrast to the singing high. So yeah, let's continue. It goes up a little bit higher. And I like how he's, like, whenever he is singing, how he gets really soft when he's singing the really high notes just to add nice dynamic contrast. And, like, it just, it just makes the song feel a little bit different than if he was saying the same volume the whole time. Got some piano skills there. Very, very cool. Dun, dun, dun. Again, like I was saying earlier, like how he's singing the really high notes, using just that wispy, very, or not very soft, but softer than his other singing. I don't know, I like when songs do that, it just, it just adds a little bit of extra emotion to it. Like whenever I'm trying to do solos or something like that, I always try to add that nice dynamic contrast. Okay. Oh. Was not expecting that. <laughs> yeah. Like I said, I love his voice, I love his screaming, and I like in songs when I add just like this out of left field, out of nowhere. Either change of style change of tempo, whatever, because I know a lot of songs that I've played before in like concert and stuff, if you stay the same the whole time, sometimes the audience gets kind of bored, which I mean, it'd be hard to get bored with this, but just relatively speaking, if you play the same thing, it kind of gets like normalized and you start to kind of lose your attention, but adding something big, dramatic like that, it freshens stuff up, it makes people pay attention, it makes people go, wait, what happened? And they actually, like, I said, they start paying more attention. So, kudos to that, and I like following in reverse, I like that style, so. And again, sorry for all the pauses, I'm just trying not to get copyrighted. Oof. 
that screen is iconic, in my opinion. really had no other words for that like like I said this is one of the first songs from Fallen in Reverse that I heard uh, The Drug Me Is You so yeah kudos I really I really enjoyed it yeah Let's see like the last song I heard from Falling in Reverse was Popular Monster, another really good song. So, yeah. I, I guess that's it for the video. I don't really know what else to say except for I get this a 10 out of 10. It's a bunch of styles and a bunch of like things I personally like, so. Ronnie Rackie, you the man. <laughs>